Hello from our final full day here in Paris. I am starting today's video the night before because we have a very, very early start tomorrow and I want to share a few things that my brain is not gonna be ready to share tomorrow morning, so let's jump into it. If you'll remember back when we flew here, we flew to London to start off our trip and we flew from JFK to London on Virgin Atlantic and at the time we booked it with points which originally cost 10,000 points each, but there was a 30% Capital One bonus. So we each transferred 7,695 points and paid $150 in taxes and fees. And the original retail price of those seats is $770. So basically we got a redemption of eight cents per point, which is a great deal. But on the way home, we needed a way to get home on points elsewhere. So that's pretty much why we ended our trip in Paris. At the time of booking our tickets home, we found a transfer bonus from Chase, which was 25% to Flying Blue, the program that KLM and Air France use. The original retail price of those tickets was $1,573, and we paid 19,000 points and $161 in taxes and fees. So if you're keeping track at home, that is a total of 7.43 cents per point, which is a great redemption. So we got two really good point deals, which is basically kind of how we rounded out this trip, flying to London and then flying home from Paris. But like I said, we have a very early day tomorrow and I wanted to share that because points is a great way and a great tool to use for travel. And we like to use them as best as we can to travel as often as we can for free or as little money as possible. Anyways, see you in the morning. Made it to the airport, survived the Uber ride. Thank God there was no traffic this early in the morning, but we were up way too early so we couldn't take the metro. And now we are just existing. I think today is gonna be the kind of day that you just exist through, that we just kind of are going place to place mindlessly. Our bodies are moving without our brains knowing what's going on. after a quick one hour flight. Didn't sleep one blink because there was a baby crying and I was listening to a good book. So now we're going through customs. I went through a whole accident phase. <laughs> Made it through immigration at Amsterdam, leaving the Schengen. Took only maybe five minutes, which was super awesome. Now we gotta find a lounge because we have about two hours until our flight home to Chicago. Well, no dice on the lounges. They are closed for renovation that we have access to. So we posted up at a restaurant. Sarah got a gluten-free meal. But now it's time to board our flight home. It's a sneaky long one to Chicago. It's like nine hours from Amsterdam to Chicago. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Good morning, 41A. Over here. Thank you. Welcome. Well, we think we have the middle seat, which is great to spread out. But I'm in the window seat and didn't realize when I got our seats that there wouldn't be a window here. So that's gonna make for some boring video. <laughs> Chicago. Then we just got this snack. 
It's my gluten free snack. My gluten free meals have been good so far. This smells delicious. And when I first got it, I was like, oh, it looks like a burrito like stuff. It smelled like it had meat in it. It smells so good. I took a bite. It's literally just like a sausage and bread. Kind of like a corn dog, but not fried. Well, not not a dollar. The window was a super bummer. Mostly because I really wanted to be on that side of the plane because when you fly into Chicago, you can sometimes see the skyline, but none of that today. Alas. But now it is time for us to do something that we've been dreaming about doing for the past 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I have missed this bed. So earlier before our flight, we were saying that we hoped the middle seat worked out. For that flight, KLM actually offers an opportunity for you to buy the middle seat or the seat next to you on some of their flights that aren't as booked. So it was 100 euro for, and I bought it. And so basically it was 50 euro each for us to split. We had a guaranteed middle seat between us, which was awesome, so, so nice. worth it. And they also do have a provision in there that says if they need the seat, they can put somebody there and refund you the money. But it was nice having the peace of mind, basically knowing that we were probably gonna have a middle seat, which made the flight way more comfortable overall. They could have uh, upped their ante on the chicken for me, but they made up with it for the corn dog sausage <laughs> situation. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we are so happy to be back in Chicago. Sad that our travels have come to an end in Europe. For now, we are gonna be figuring out our next travel plans for the rest of the year soon but we'll figure it out and we'll see you in the next one we're gonna go to bed now <laughs> good night. night also you know i'm tired when my right eye gets bloodshot that's a telltale yes, sign though when yeah when my one eye gets bloodshot so definitely time for bed hello from our final day here in paris <laughs> Made it through immigration in Amsterdam. Okay, wait. I don't like when I, you like, have, oh. I'm doing something on my phone and you have me in the background. So it looks like <laughs> you're anti social. I'm anti social. Okay, bye. So. <laughs> oh, I hate running backwards. Whoa.